So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today I will show you the symbology options in QGIS. So let's get started. So symbology basically defines how your data is represented uh, with respect to your data in the attribute table. So to edit the symbology options, all you have to do is go to the layer section, right click, go to the properties. Now you can see that this is uh, this section is called symbology section. So in this symbology section, we have several different features to use it to change the appearance of the layer. So this variety of features can be used to change the appearance of this layer. So in the first option is the available as a color. Suppose if you want to change the color of this uh, shape file, all you have to do is go to this color option, pick this arrow, and you can choose your desired color for this. So let me choose the color. So let me choose this one. Now to change the color, all you have to do is, is to apply it. So let me show you. So suppose you want to change the color, double click this option and choose your desired color. Suppose you want to, uh, want to see the blue color, click this option and apply and OK. So it is converted to a blue color. So let me go to the properties again. Another op other option is called as an opacity that is, uh, that is used to reduce the transparency. Suppose let me reduce to a 50%. So now apply it, click OK. So you can see that uh, the layer transparency has been reduced. Suppose you have a overlying or underlying layer. Suppose you want to see through this layer. All you have to do is go to the properties and choose your opacity as 50 or a lesser to view through the object, to view the underlying or the underlying uh, uh, layers. Now we have a unit or uh, now we have a unit options. I will choose as a uh, millimeters. So uh, here we have variety of options to choose uh, variety of colors and and shape colors and with borders. So now you can also be able to import your uh, import your uh, colors using this option called style manager. Let me go to this option. Here you can also import or export your this uh, symbology, the style using in this layer. So suppose if you already have a file, uh, you can uh, import into this and uh, you can uh, make sure that it has the same uh, symbology as that of uh, that file. So you can also export the file to save it for later purposes. So these are the options that is available in single uh, symbol. We have color, opacity, unit, and that variety of other uh, symbology in symbol uh, in single symbols. So suppose if you want to choose and categorized. So now let us check out uh, this categorized option. In value section, let us choose uh, our data as the shape area. That is the area of this area of this uh, age of this county. So now let me. Uh, choose a color run or let me uh, classify it so as a result the area of each of this uh, area location of this uh, area we have the different values it is classified into a unique different values so suppose if you want to delete it one by one I have to click using this option called delete or suppose you want to delete entire thing Click the delete option, delete all. So let me show you once again. Suppose if your uh, value is household, let me classify it. So we have different unique values. So what happens if we apply and click OK? So you can now see that according to different household income, uh, colors uh, classified into 
their county is classified into a different colors. So let me go back to the symbology option. So suppose if you want to delete one by one, you can use this option. Click this, delete. Click this, you can delete one by one. Suppose you want to delete all, click this option called delete all. So now let us go, go to another option called graduate. So what is special about graduated symbology is that you can uh, fix a range for this each of this value. Suppose if a household income of a person in that county would be varying from $1,000 to $10,000 or $10,000 to a lakh. So in this way you can choose a range using the graduated option. So now let us see. I have chosen a household income of the county so now let me choose a number of classes so suppose I want to choose seven classes or eight classes so let me choose a color ramp so I will choose this color ramp click OK so now So I will choose this color ramp. Now let us see, I will apply. So now you can able to see that the household income of uh, in this county, it is higher, closer to, a, closer to a city compared to the outer outskirts of the city are lower based on the income level. So income levels are, levels are higher in the city areas. So now let me suppose if you want to reduce the number of classes you can use this option you can reduce the number of classes. So let me choose the five classes and apply it. So let us see the result again. So it is similar. So suppose I want to choose three classes. So let me apply it. So it is similar that our income level, income levels are high in the city areas compared to the outskirts of the city or the village areas. So now I will choose the five classes for apply. And again, similarly, suppose if you want to, uh, suppose if you want to delete uh, each of this range, you can click the option, click here, and you can delete using this option. So you can delete that. Suppose if you want to delete all this value, have to click this value called delete all. So let me uh, classify it again. So uh, in this video, I have shown you a uh, symbologies about a single symbol, a categorized symbol, and graduated symbol. So in an upcoming video, I will show you the rule-based merged features and inverted polygon and 2.5D in upcoming videos. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel Teraspatio for more contents. Give us a like.